Uh, we're going to talk about your move to the SAP cloud, but why don't you start by telling us, you're, you're a CIO, tell us a little, your company and what you do and, and why you decided to eventually move to the cloud. When we just started with Amazon, we know that we need to install the software, but the infrastructure is already done. So mm. it's an important step that you, you, you skip and just start implementing what you needed. Right. And then after a period of time in the Amazon cloud, you decided to move to the HANA Enterprise Cloud. So why would you do that? It, that seems a little bit of an odd decision given that Amazon is what everyone thinks about with cloud. Yeah. Yeah, we are talking about different things. Uh, Amazon uh, gives to you an infrastructure as a service, and the service is very good. Yeah. But we need more because we need reliability, we need uh, SLA, we need some, uh, and of course, we need the component to go with HANA because we need information in real time. Mm. And this makes a difference because HANA is a new technology, it's of course, they have many benefits that you can leverage if you are with SAP. Mm. So this is why we move with, uh, from Amazon uh, Web Services to HANA Enterprise Cloud in order to get this natural moving, it's an entry point for us in terms of HANA usage, and also to, to get the real, uh, reliability of technology of SAP that's uh, it's, it's really amazing. The other thing you were telling me that I thought was interesting is for installing new uh, software from here, if you need to upgrade certain SAP components, that's going to be a lot easier with the HANA Enterprise Cloud because that's a managed service for yeah. you now. Perfect. That's a big difference, right? Yeah, this makes a difference because you free your resources to think in terms of strategic business requirements instead using your resources to upgrade, to do patching, or, or administration the, 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 the infrastructure. And uh, you just went live on the Enterprise Cloud, I think it was May 1st, is that right? Yeah, we are just so running from May 1st. And Were uh, you nervous when you flipped the switch? No, I'm very calm. Uh, when I immigrated, I was in New York taking pictures of Empire State because yeah, I know- Empire uh, State Building, yeah, huh? yeah. Build. Okay. Uh, we know that uh, it's, we, we train a lot, we do the regression tests, yeah. And we know how it works, and it was uh, it takes one week to migrate from our systems yep. into the Hunt Enterprise Cloud. So is it too early to say it was successful? Would you call it a success at this point? Yeah, very successful at this point. Okay. One of the things your fellow CIOs struggle with, and I know because I talk with them about this, is the challenge of maintaining these environments. And I think the vision is to become more strategic. Do you think your time yeah. is going to be freed up to... Yep. do more business relevant and forward thinking projects now? Yeah, if you think about the simplification that the cloud brings to you and you can free your resources in order to do more strategic things and to be more responsive to the business because infrastructure is not an issue anymore. So it's an enabler for, uh, for example, I'd like to do a proof of concept or create a new systems. You can do it very quickly and very easy and then you can use it if it, it didn't work, you just turn off. So this, is, this makes the difference for us. Thank you.